I'm gonna be tying a Frenchie variation. That uh, that's my favorite. But I'm also gonna show you two of my other ones that I like to use. Uh, first off is this orange, orange colored Frenchie. I have just an orange thread and a pink ice stub dubbing. Then the natural pheasant tail body. Usually I have these in size 14 to size 16, and I'll fish them usually during the summer, uh, late spring through the summer. Next, I have another pattern I use during the late spring through summer, and that is using this body that's a motlid turkey feather instead of the pheasant tail. And it kind of has a whitish tint to it, white, whitish gray. And the dubbing is a black uh, ice dub and the thread is red. And then lastly, the fly I'll be tying is my favorite, and this is the black Frenchie, uh, black bodied Frenchie. It has a black pheasant tail on it, and the thread is a red, and I have a UV pearl ice stub on the collar there. This fly I usually tie in size 18, uh, sometimes size 16, but mainly 18 and 20. And it works really great for uh, little blooming olive hatches in the early spring and then later in the fall. This fly works really great on the Truckee and the East Walker. And it's worked out great elsewhere, especially on the Madison. In fact, that one video I made back in 2018, it was in late September on the Madison, and it was one of those perfect days for little blooming olive patches. It was overcast and kind of stormy, a little snow here and there. And I did really, really well. Most of the fish took the, the size 18 black Frenchie variation I tied. I got the material materials I'm using in the description below and also for the different variations as well. But I'm gonna be tying this, this black version I like to use. Probably my favorite, as I was saying earlier. You can use whatever tail, tailing material you, material you like, whether it be pheasant tail or lemon wood duck. I've used those before. I don't think it matters that much. For the ribbing, we have a small UTC silver wire. Just gonna use about six or seven strands of black pheasant tail. Let's wrap that forward. forward. I've never bothered wrapping the wire forward in the opposite direction of the pheasant tail. I, I haven't had any problems with the material breaking off. Seems like every video you see someone tying a pheasant tail or pheasant tail like pattern they always mention that to wrap it the opposite direction but I've never had any problems with it, with it breaking off. Supposedly it's supposed to prevent that. Next we'll, next we'll add the UV Pearl Ice Stub collar to it. It's kind of like a double hot spot. You got the red and the UV Pearl. And that's it.
instead of gluing uh, the head, I just do a double whip finish.